We are now starting the new uh, session. The new session uh, on high resolution remote sensing data usage. The first presentation will be made by Oleg Gomazov from Research Institute of uh, Precision Instruments, uh, Russia. I believe that the biggest value of this conference is uh, to have a, an overview of uh, how remote sensing data can be obtained and used. In this regard, it is very important to know what uh, Professor Konechny and others reported on. It's particularly important for us, a relatively young team, which has entered the geo market very recently. So in our presentation, uh, we wanted to share with you some of the results of remote sensing data uh, received uh, from a constellation, uh, which includes uh, Russian satellite as well, used for mapping of large areas. The Research Institute of Precise Instruments that we represent is over 60 years old in the field of remote sensing, designing various instruments uh, for remote sensing uh, devices, uh, ground stations uh, that, are, that come both as uh, fixed or um, mobile. Key areas of activities include the following. The traditional mapping efforts based on remote sensing data and development of new technology, new geospatial products, creation of uh, geospatial data sets and uh, application uh, services. Creating a new area, we understood that uh, without modern uh, production facility, we will not have uh, a sizable result. So. Uh, we started to build up uh, a large production facility that includes about 150 uh, automated workstations fully equipped with uh, state-of-the-art software. There is a system for data storage in the capacity of uh, 5 petabytes. The computing center is ranked by IBM as uh, being on top 20 list in terms of productivity. Having started uh, dealing with uh, large amounts of data, we ran into a problem of high productivity. To address this concern, together with Rakurs and a few other companies, we created a technological um, workflow uh, to process uh, data flows. It relies on uh, photomod uh, data conveyor. It allows automatically uh, build a block of images, uh, image adjustment, uh, stitching. The photomod conveyor is interfaced with uh, other products of photomod, so we were able to create a good quality control for uh, mosaics and good quality stitching. In performing the tasks, uh, we pay a lot of attention to accuracy. Increasing accuracy is something that is demanded uh, by the system of remote sensing and the data processing methods. Ideally, end users need to have an accuracy that meets the accuracy of navigational devices, which at the moment uh, is around the uh, first digits of the meter. Regular users become unhappy when using navigational devices. They can lose their bearings, orientation, in a good sense of the word. Uh, for example, this summer I traveled to Stary Rusi 
in uh, Veliki Novgorod, the navigator showed that I was in the field or in the forest, whereas, whereas I was driving my car on a good road. And to tell you the truth, I was uh, uh, quite uh, irritant about this. So the precision, the accuracy of navigation was very poor. This slide shows the key uh, units of remote sensing, the spacecraft from which we get the data. The use of data from uh, various remote sensing units provides um, speed, agility, and um, accuracy of products uh, being put together because this data allows for controlling and offsetting mutual <coughs> reciprocal error errors. Availability of remote sensing data and uh, processing stations made it possible for us to do large projects and to create uh, a blanket coverage for millions, millions of square kilometers without uh, relying on uh, ground control data. The coverage that we generate has a good spatial resolution, a good positioning accuracy, and good uh, internal uh, geometric accuracy, which is of uh, particular importance uh, for Russia. Uh, the blanket coverage is created in the uh, uh, geostationary uh, system of coordinates, and it's the system that we will switch to by 2017. Uh, the basic uh, blanket coverage created by DEM can be used as a, a geo uh, basic map uh, for resolving uh, a number of tasks, including mapping. In his presentation, Professor Konechny told us about uh, how maps of 1 to 50,000, 1 to 25,000 get updated across the world. Unfortunately, Russia is not doing particularly well with map updating. Another problem that we face uh, when using maps and uh, basic um, blanket uh, coverage is the dissonance of uh, contours uh, because the end product will have a higher accuracy. Uh, we understand that creating and updating uh, maps with object uh, composition is labor intensive and most of the users don't need full maps. Uh, we offered an electronic map that contains key layers and in combination with the DEM and the raster layers allows solving a number of tasks. The quality of uh, the product is mainly determined by uh, geometric uh, characteristics of uh, remote sensing data, that is positioning accuracy and accuracy of uh, reciprocal uh, contouring. High accuracy of remote sensing data typically is provided uh, by the develop developers of uh, flight system and uh, measurement systems of uh, satellites. But these characteristics, this specification, need to be verified independently. We do this for foreign uh, systems. We evaluate their uh, accuracy features. For uh, Russian units, we do calibrations for both uh, measurement instruments. And based on calibration outcomes, we generate an exact mathematical model that is also checked uh, based on mm, uh, test areas. We can then uh, uh, generate uh, uh, polynoms that can be imported in uh, photomod uh, products. For each uh, satellite, we develop this uh, separately and individually taken into account uh, design uh, features. It's dynamic. The purpose of ground calibration and, and in-flight cal calibration is to determine systemic errors. This slide uh, shows requirements to accuracy to ensure 11-meter um, positioning accuracy that uh, meets uh, worldview and uh, GOI requirements. Carrying out calibration 
ensures uh, high positioning accuracy and internal accuracy of image, which is very important for mapping. Summing up, I would like to say uh, that we try to follow global trends by ensuring high quality and speed of data uh, going to end years. This is something that the next presentation will be all about. In the end, I, I would like to share with you the productivity that uh, we have using uh, a photo mode conveyor. For ALUS, it's about uh, th three, 3.5 uh, squ uh, square million square kilometers a day uh, for colored images obtained from uh, GOI with the half a meter resolution it's 160 square kilometers a day the acquisition and accuracy of remote sensing enable our company uh, to do large-scale uh, mapping exercises over large areas. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Oleg Anatolievich. Uh, are there any questions? While you're uh, thinking, uh, I have a couple of questions I'd like to ask. Uh, there was a session before this one. Uh, you mostly talked about foreign data. Do you also use uh, domestic data, Russian data, and uh, what will be the extent of uh, using it? From resource decay, we used a lot of uh, data to the best of the ability, the capacity of uh, that spacecraft. As for Canopus, we do intend to use it as well because it has good uh, internal geometry and a fairly good positioning accuracy. With one caveat, uh, there are certain logistical organizational aspects that prevent us from using uh, this data um, fully. Some decisions have to be made. So for the for Russian for Russia's largest company, it's uh, easier to use foreign data. Well, I don't uh, want to talk about this extensively, but this is a problem that everyone is aware about. Those who use uh, uh, remote sensing, it started with uh, resource decay, actually. As for resource P, uh, we intend to use it. Uh, resource P is in the final stages of uh, flight testing. Resource P has uh, confirmed um, its accu accuracy characteristic with the positioning accuracy of around uh, 15 meters. Uh, but a series of uh, calibration exercises will continue, and uh, we expect to get even better accuracy. Any other questions? Well, I have another question. Sources, well, you, you said uh, about orthophoto plans creation. Where do you get um, digital elevation models, main sources, and do you plan to do stereo processing using uh, your software, your workstations? So we do. Uh, uh, stereo processing. Primarily we get all the data from open sources and uh, Russian maps as presented by Mr. Konechny. Uh, these maps uh, were created uh, in full quantity for Russia in 25, 50 and 100. No questions, so thank you very much.